Thanks again for checking out the Coding Fanatic YouTube channel. Head on over to CodingFanatic.com and join our mailing list for weekly updates on Android tutorials, career advice, and more. So once again, head on over to CodingFanatic.com and thanks for your support. Welcome back. In the final part of our series explaining how to set up child activities in an Android app, we are going to set our parent activity of both our child activities. So I know that this entire time I've said that we're setting up child activities, but in truth, in Android, the way it works is you can assign a parent activity to an activity, which of course, by, by default would make that a child activity. But what you're explicitly saying is, hey, this one activity over here will be my parent. And when you do that for multiple activities and they all have the exact same parent, then they're all considered the child children of that one activity. But enough talk, let's see it in action. So over here I have my Android manifest.xml file open for this project. And all we're adding in is a new XML attribute. Android parent activity name. All right, so here we are in our second activity and we're going to set the parent activity as dot main activity. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing over here in the third activity as well. So we're, what we're gonna do now is save this and restart our app to see the changes. Okay, so here we are in our app, act one, click here to start act two, and you'll see there's a back arrow here, a, an arrow in the action bar that lets us return to our main activity, All right? And similarly, if I click start act two, click here to start act three, all right, here we are in Act 3. Once again, if we click this back arrow, it can take us back to Activity 1. So the the goal here was to show you how you can assign multiple child activities to a single parent. Now, another thing we could do here is we could restyle this act our, our activity to have multiple buttons and add multiple new activities. And when you click on the button, it starts in each button would open up a different activity and each of them would have our main activity as the parent. And by doing that, you would be able to, then you'd, you'd have a clear, it's just another example of ways that you can play around and set up parent activities. So yeah, hopefully this uh, tutorial has been helpful. Uh, so just to go over what we've done thus far, we've created, created an application with multiple activities. We've added buttons to each of the activities, each of which have on-click listeners that are configured so that when you click the button, it starts a new activity. And today in our final chapter, we've added, we've set up our Android manifest to define our parent activity so that when you start the new activities, you can return back to your home screen or, or to your main activity. So thank you all again so much for tuning in. Uh, once again, uh, go ahead and uh, click you can comment, like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, don't forget to go to codingfanatic.com and join the mailing list so you can get updates whenever I do videos like these, to, such as tutorials, career, career advice, and more. So once again, thank you all so much for tuning in. This is your host, Richard Clark, signing out, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.